Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to another Chaos Africa meeting. And um, I've been out for the past or oh, I don't even think I've facilitated this meeting for for the past one month or oh, even two months. So it's excited to be back. And yeah. Um I see new faces here, people that I have not met before. Maybe they have joined the other meetings. Hi. I, I met Charlotte when I went to Lome, so I know Charlotte. Hi, Gloria. Uh, hi. Hi. Gloria, can you hear me? Gloria, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So hi Ojitelli as well again. Hi Orion. I like that name Orion. What does it mean? Um, it means peace. Peace in English. In English. What language is it? It's like um, it's Andoni, the river state. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm from River State as well. Nice to meet you, Orion. Uh, yeah, nice. Thank you. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we can get started. We have quite a number of things to talk about. Who wants to do the notes taken for today? Okay, if anybody wants to, you can. Oh, yeah, I didn't put the attendees. You can add your name to the meeting notes as well. I forgot about that part. Let's see. I'm going to send it to the channel now. Oh, my. I forgot how to facilitate the meeting. Trying to find my floating button. Let's check. So yeah, you can add your name to the chat um, and let us know how you're doing today. So I wanted to talk about a few things. Um, you know, we just wrapped up October first, and I'm really, really proud of everybody that has contributed to all the things that we've done. We're pretty busy, you know, with um the last month. You know, everybody was like hands on doing something. I'm so so excited and so proud to share. You know, kind of a review of how Hacktober Fest went for us um, as a chapter and as a community. Um, we did a lot of things. Um, and one thing, you know, we were able to, one of the things that I really loved that we were able to do was to collaborate with other, you know, African open source support um communities here in Africa that are also doing awesome work. So we're able to collaborate with Angola open source community. That was, I think that was uh, maybe the first one where, you know, awesome people worked on the PMs that we had worked on helping people, you know, with the hackathon, contribute to open source and translate documentation. I don't know, I think, uh, do you want to kind of talk about how that went? Um, if Busayo is here as well to kind of talk about it. Maybe you, you all did in the last meeting, but I wasn't here. So I would like to know, you know, how that went for you and the kind of so, uh, how you can improve it at the time. Um, I think I are you able to speak? You know, if you want to talk about it or beside you any of you. Okay, hi everyone. No problem. I think Busayo can speak. Yeah. Um. Okay, I just joined in, so I don't really know what. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. You know, we're talking about like um all the all the things we did during um October first, right? And we're like the community collaboration. So I'm just trying to ask because like we did that hackathon with you know Angola Open Source. I mean, we participated as a 
community. Okay. Um, so I want to kind of know and hear your feedback on how that went. Yeah. You know, maybe things that we can do better in the next time. Uh, yeah, maybe you can talk about that meeting, but okay. I was not here, so I didn't get to hear that. Okay, so it, it went really well. I mean, like I I worked with a lot of people on GitHub on the repository. So basically, they helped in for their no code contributors. They helped in translating the Slack bot into Portuguese, and so we still have some pending that we're trying to like wrap up and finish up with, but. In the long run, I feel like it was a really good project and it was also my first time like working on or doing anything on Slackbot. So it was really interesting. Then for lessons, I think we can learn. One is maybe to start planning earlier so that we can work better with them. Because mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Um, so, so sorry guys and um, I'm still distracted. So I think that's something we can start maybe for the next October first when we start planning earlier and start talking to the organizations we are partnering with on time that can help us better get things ready. So basically all I'm doing now is just like cleaning up the repository and like closing the issues, merging the pull requests that we have. Um, yeah, and another thing I also think we can do better is have like a guideline for these contributors because um so one thing I noticed is somebody made like a big mistake which we're actually trying to solve currently on the repository. So we we'll just like I think a lot of the people that contributed were very very new to open source mm -hmm. and even to like using Git GitHub and all of that. So yeah. It was a good project. Thank you to Ade Inka um, for helping me set things up also. That's it from me. Yeah, thank you very much for that feedback. I know that, like, yeah, as regards the planning, it was really, you know, very short time. Like, it was a short time and we were still able to do that. And thank you for the feedback as regards, you know, the, the audience that participated since they were new contributors i think we can prepare better next time to kind of like create resources that they can use to um you know understand how to, to use git github and all that stuff um so yeah thank you very much to for your, all your work on it as well um so i just also wanted to highlight that we got a feature on october first newsletter for this work that we did. I think we posted it on we posted it on our social media. So we posted it on our social media, right? And like the picture where they kind of I don't know if I can really see. I don't know if I can see an issue too. I was trying to look for it before. I was trying to look for it before the meeting, but I kind of did not do that I forgot to do that if you can see it it should have a it should have like a public version of their newsletter let me see my network is a bit poor I don't know what is even poor but yeah so we got that feature you know from October first which is really big, you know, the newsletter is read by like thousands of people I can imagine. And so we had that feature from them, you know, the picture, the down to back to our seats. So which is something that is good for us. So we had that feature. You know, it was also a beautiful event. Um, I don't know if you also pictures. I did post it on. Oh, I didn't post it on the Slack, but I posted it. It was posted on like, maybe I posted it on the Slack. I can't even remember anymore. But yeah, so it was also like a beautiful event. You know, we. I saw the pictures and it was I had no surgery because I couldn't go. I had like good, good feedback as well from Antonio. The, um. 
the open source um the open source lead at Angola. So that was also good. So I think yeah, plus one to more collaborations with other open source African open source communities. Um so yeah, any questions on this Angola topic before we move to the next one? So any reactions, anything we should do better? No. And thank you to whoever is arranging the notes. I just pasted that picture and everything just got out and really I ran away. Okay. Um so I think there are no reactions. So the other community that we collaborated with, um, you can see the beautiful picture of me there smiling, shining on my teeth. Um, so yes, another um collaboration we did for Hacktoberfest was to collaborate with Oscar Lume, um, chapter in one of Oscar's chapter, Open Source Community Africa's chapter in Togo. And that was there. I was there last weekend, the last the past weekend. The event happened on Saturday, and I met a lot of Togolese developers that are you know enthusiastic about open source. Um, we collaborated with them and provided swags um to their um hackathon participants that won. They had this hackathon, and it was a group of I think it was a it was a group of four. I'm I'm kind of trying to remember how many people participated how many groups but there were four groups that won and we were able to like give them a swag pack printed really good swags um cup um, t-shirts hoodie and um a tote bag so we were able to provide them with swags the winners with swags um and this is one like um, a group picture that that happened and it was really beautiful. I learned a little bit of French. Um, I think somebody from Oscar Lume is here. Um, I think so. Um, I don't remember. I think the person dropped off. That was Charlotte. Uh, but Charlotte is no longer. Oh, Charlotte is here. So you do want to say hi, not to put you on the spot. Right, Hamza, I kept saying bonjour every time. Merci, merci beaucoup. That's all I kept saying. So I, I, my French is very rusty. So, hello to everyone. I'm a little bit intimidated, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be honest, but yeah. it's nice to meet you. So about the hackathon, there was uh, there there's thirteen uh, teams, and uh, I think there was only four winners, and it was a mm -hmm. good event um, you. with thank a good you. presentation Charles. from you. So thank you. Yeah, I think you were, you were breaking up, but um, I think that's okay. You can also like do an introduction in the chat as well. But it was lovely to meet you, Charlotte, and I'm happy that you're here and you're able to make it to this meeting. So thank you so much. So yeah, so it was a it was a really good was a really good event. Um, you know, I was able to understand how much inclusion matters, you know, in open source communities. Um, and we hope to collaborate with them better in the future. Um, so yeah, that's how anybody have any questions about uh, the anything from Oscar Lume. Um, okay, no questions. So yeah, so that's um, and then this one is not really the community managers festival is not really related to Hacktober Fest. But that was also one other community collaboration we did in the month of October, where we, um, you know, did a community partnership with um CM Fest. It happened in Lagos here in Nigeria, and um, I did post pictures of them in the in our Slack. Um, so I met some Chaos Africa members, and we were able to talk about you know we had the spotlights. 
where we talked about what uh, we do here at Chaos Africa. We shared the ESOV, um, ESOV um, infographic on how people can create inclusion surveys. So it was that was a really good event as well, right? Um, where we were able to attract people that are community managers into into Chaos Africa. Um, so I think there I met um Mary Blessing was there. Um what else? Uh, Mary Blessing was there. Um what's her name again? I'm trying to remember the name. I'm so bad with names and I'm embarrassing myself here. Um <laughs> there were a couple of people that you know we met there. So that event also went well. Then about aside from community collaborations, we also had you know Twitter spaces, and I think we did four or five. We did about five Twitter spaces. If I'm not mistaken, or four. No, I think it's four. We did four. So we had Twitter spaces with like um, and these were collaborations as well, where we invited the CEO of Tuli Tublian. I keep saying Tulipan Tublian. Um to talk about what they do and all those Twitter spaces are recorded so anybody can really access them. Um and we talked we invited the CEO of the or the co-founder of Form Bricks as well to also like talk about you know what happens or what they do at Form Bricks and the hackathon they were doing. So we're really really very busy in the month of October with collaborations which was interesting to see. Um, any questions, you know, as regards all the collaborations we did, or any comments, reactions? I've been the only one talking in this meeting. Damn. There are like 24 other people here. Okay, I'm going to mute myself now. Yes, Kingsley, thank you for saving me. Say something. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi I'm the, I guess pretty soon we all start learning a little bit of French. Good to have you. Right. <laughs> I think Charlotte, Charlotte is going to be our our um our tutor. So Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, uh, bonjour, bonjour Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you, I get you, I understand. <laughs> Hi, James. So, um, okay, my comments will be on the, um, the Twitter spaces. Um, so, just like we have like just our presence here, so it to just be like a call to uh, like encourage you know people, in the community to always try right to join the spaces too. Because what we are trying to do is not just, of course, getting people to contribute, but then, um, you know, like we really want to push this whole picture of a strong community, right? Influencing the open source ecosystem in Africa. So I, I don't think it's always cool to like have space and so Uguchi <laughs> and uh, a few couple of a couple of persons, you know. Um, so let's just kind of like start with the community first, you know, get people in the community to join in, you know. And I think that we way, and it also push and encourage other people to join to our Twitter spaces. True. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Thank you for that, Kinsley. And it even just reminds me, like, um, we also had the, the last Twitter space we had, which was, like, about open source licensing, was really informative and educative, right? And, you know, that was very blessing that um, but that speaker. So it's kind of like also open in the sense that we try to plan these Twitter spaces and these topics. If you think about anything in open source that you think it's quite technical and complicated for you to understand, and you think it's something that we should talk about, because I think that we should start even, you know, bringing up those technical topics in open source and even though our audience are still like, we still have audience that are beginners, you know, in open source, we should start talking about really technical things in open source. I liked that, uh, that topic about licensing and even the speaker did a very good job. If you were 
in that um Twitter space. If you were not there, you can always re- listen to it. But like Kinsley said, I would really love people to participate in you know this Twitter space, and share it because um I think so far like in the past this month um our Twitter space like with if you compare it to the one that happened in um last year during October first it was we had more we had more listeners you know and all that so we we should do we should encourage that we should join and also encourage like other people to join right other people to come and hear about what we are talking about you know share it in communities that you're in right so that's usually like what what I use I do every time like when I went to that spaces are over, I'll just share it in like other communities that I'm in to so also bring people to attend these Twitter spaces because they are quite educative and you know help connect you to people that are more knowledgeable in the field. So this is a call out. If you know if there's any technical thing that you know you think that you do not really understand or things I think we should talk about more um Twitter space like Oh, we have been seeing Twitter since even more to come after us. But yeah, um, so yeah, X spaces, um, you can you can always um you can always message me or message anybody, you know, um about that topic as well. So yeah, any more reactions? Yeah, too. Not done. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry for cutting it out though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So um so last month too in the design working group we had um a few stuff um so um, of course people indicated interest to contribute to the Force project event budget the thing one of the guys here yeah, I think it's actually yeah, Felix has been really doing a good job right and um on the mobile some of the mobile screens for the events budget project and um. We have two other guys right now, um, of three, right? We have um, Toria, we have Mide. Um, Mide kind of like oversees the Air Force project, right? It's kind of like a soft leadership structure, right? Because we just have a lot of personal kind of like indicated interest. So to kind of like micromanage some of these guys, we have um, Mide overseeing the Air Force project and Joseph overseeing uh, the event budget project. You know, so and um some guys of course have been getting interest, and we also have um the Chaos Africa branding a uh, project ongoing. Um, there's someone to also working on that at the moment contributing. I'm not sure he's on this call. So mm-hmm. we had a couple of stuffs, you know, happening in October. So to see how yeah. this month goes, I'm kind of like very super optimistic. So that's the month. So if you're also a designer idea and you want to was make contributions. You can also refer to um, check the recording too. We had a very informative recording for designers, you know, contributing. Then, of course, you can also reach out to me or Joseph or Mitty, you know. So just help you put you through and what you need to know to start contributing. So thank you guys. Over to you, Ruth. I think the spotlight is yeah, well. thank, <laughs> thank you so much, Kinsley. Um, Thank you for saving me from talking for a loan. But yeah, um, um, I love what you all are doing in the design team. Like, um, you know, it's it's been beautiful to see how much participation that has been going on. And trust me that, um, trust me when I say that the impact that you that the design team has is not just in Chaos Africa, but in the global chaos project. Like a lot of times the work that you all do gets referenced a lot. Um, you know. So thank you so much, Kinsley, for your work and like for I think I've been seeing a lot. Um, you know, Toria has been um, you know, facilitating meetings. So thank you, um, Toria as well. Um, so yeah, so um the next thing I want to talk about is I have swags for people. See, I'm wearing my shirts. So <laughs> So um I, I it was really nice to see the participation rates, you know, from Chaos Africa contributors um in Hacktober Fair. So if you participated, you need to have evidence. If not, nothing for you. But um so I have like some swags that um I can 
send to you. I can I can send to people that are not in Lagos. I think I can do that. So um, if you participated with evidence, don't message me if you not if you don't have evidence. But yeah, um, if you participated in October first, even though you didn't finish the four pull request, it's not really really matter. So as you you did one, you can you know message me and you know take your delivery details and you can you know send. They are fine swags. They are not just shirts. There's tote bag. There's even the fine cup. It's like I should go and bring it to show people. <laughs> but but yes, um, just some swags. Um, so if you participated, you can. <laughs> So what is writing you need to show evidence of your participation? <laughs> Why are you calling me out like that? Um okay, so if you support us, hmm, I don't I don't do support us club in this kind of thing. Um except you were leading, leading something. But I know the people that were lead, I know them, so I don't need to, they don't need to even message me. I know the people that already did things. So, so yeah, so if you participated in that group, I first can send a message to me. Uh, Hamza, what did you advocate? Advocate? What? So yeah, show me evidence of the people you're advocating to. And the people uh, that you open source. Okay, good afternoon. So I'm yeah. a, I'm an Oscar Kano chapter lead. So we had a info session and, and then the practical info session about how to contribute to the process. Okay, that that counts. That counts. You you helped your community contribute, so that counts. Okay, can message me. Have, have, have. Thank you. Yeah. So so yeah, if you did, please just send me a message out. You know, <laughs> Felix, you're on three Twitter spaces. <laughs> Your participation rate was high. Okay, okay, that's nice. Um, you can message me as well. Mm. Okay, so just message me and um, I'll sort out the delivery details. I hope this works. All this one I said, message. I've told many people to message me now. This work finish. Okay. Um, you can try your luck, Giga. Um, you take good notes, so no problem. Um. All right, so thank you everyone that participated really. It was really beautiful to see um that um and you know everybody that supported the supporters club, thank you too for supporting. Um so yeah, um so is there any other thing you want to talk about for October first? Is there something we want to do next year for October first that is going to be bigger, you know, ideas, anything is actually welcome. Um so if you have any idea, anything that you think we should do next year for October 1st, the month of October 1st, or, you know, ways that we can increase our impact, because really, I think, um, and this, I will even show you how much, um, you know, from a, just a short review of social media, like how much our impacts kind of increase um, in the month of October 1st. So, so yes, if you have any ideas for next year, Feel free to ping me. Um, but if you have them now, you can say it. Um, okay, I think uh, yes, I, I think I think we actually did plan that Afos should participate, but I don't know where it fell along. Um, maybe Kinsley has an answer. <laughs> yeah, um, of course we had plans and um so on GitHub, of course I created a couple of issues on GitHub, design issues, specifically on GitHub. And um, we had some persons that get interested to work on the project. Uh, but most of those guys were not members of um, Chaos Community. Yeah. Because which I pointed them to the community and they joined in. And of yeah. course, had also scheduled an onboarding call. So um, most of them didn't show up. They, did they show up or they didn't? They didn't. So, but I, I, I think it was just um, two persons. Okay, uh, one actually came from GitHub, but the other person, I don't know if she heard about it until so she joined. So, um, Ruth, her name is Ruth. Her name is Ruth. Ruth, and um, uh, she, so I kind of did pronounce her name. So, well, two females, right? So, showed up and uh, 
of course, I assigned some stock to them, and uh, for they haven't actually gotten back to me yet on their work. But well, I think that's kind of like the update for now. So most of the, I, I think some of the guys that get an interest on GitHub are in India. Yeah, so I think I reach out to yeah. you. These guys are not they can be in particular. I thought I've been a very busy month, so there are some people that they just want to contribute and get it going, really. <laughs> so. Um, and I and I get how much the design is an important component of the project. So yes, um, I think maybe in the next meeting we would really talk about you know the continued development of that project. I don't think we might have time to do that today. So thank you, Adinka, for bringing it up. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. The next topic item. Huh. Um, so I wanted to like just following up on the impacts that we had for October first. I thought we'd just like show a little bit of like the social media work, like how much our activity on social media has, you know. You know, sometimes it's it um it might not be like those things are converting or getting people into the community, but I feel that they are important. So um yeah, thank you to all of you. She has really been, you know, very proactive with um the social media content and everything. So that's like really, really, really good. Let me show it. I think I can. Yes, yeah, so this is yeah. um so yes, so you can see if you see here, um you'd see that um in the month of October. Or just if you scroll down to like, you know, how I think Twitter is having or X is having issues with putting out the actual metrics. But if you can just look at this part, you'd see that, you know, in in um, August, from like August, we had, you know, the tweet impressions were lower and September, they picked up like 50 times more. So like, that's really good. We had more, more impressions. We had new followers and then in the month of October, like I said, we were really, really very busy. Um, and we had like, you know, good impressions and even more, especially like um, you know, double the amount of the followers we had in the previous month. So yeah, like that's really good. And even without having to post anything this month, we already have like, you know, good impressions as well. So it's 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 um it's in the work we're doing with our social media, because social media, why I'm really particular about, um, you know, social media is that it is, you know, our external audience, and these are people that will eventually come to the community or, you know, benefit from what we share, the resources, the opportunities that we share out there. So, like, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that um, review and like how how good it is looking. And I hope we begin to like, we continue to increase the impact of that work. So I don't know if there are like any reactions, any comments or any ideas as to how we can even, because I'm looking at doubling that number, doing more. So if there are any comments about that? Any comments, any feedback? Can you okay, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually want to say something. Yeah, Thank you, Swag. Don't worry. I have... <laughs> okay, so, um, first of all, thank you so much, Ulchi. I think I'm just one of your fans, right? You're doing great and stuff. Um, so, my comment is uh, more on design. But because design is also like an integral part of what so the social media team is. Doing. Well, I'm supposed to come and hook you. Where is our new month? I know sending new <laughs> So um well, okay, I'm coming to that. <laughs> but then um I know we talked about um content, right? Sharing content ahead of time and then um how um, kind of like the old flow and then getting to work on this. 
I know that currently um, in the community, we kind of like, uh, we don't really have a lot of brand identity designers or visual designers, right? But I also don't know if there's a documentation, for example, this is November, right? And then um, that's besides the new month, uh, this is November. So Unuchi, I don't know if you have like a, a content calendar, no pressure if you don't have one, but then uh, more like it's kind of like help you know designers work with this content you know ahead of time the content calendar so you don't have to um, just like we had the old hard to buy first I, I guess the designs were always available but I know you did reach out in some cases but then the design the template was there you know so you just pull on it anytime you want so I don't know if you can share that with us if you have one you can share the link so that uh, we just have to plan for it ahead of time. Yeah. Just makes your work easy too. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm sure yes, there's a content calendar um as well. I think yeah, she, she will share that with you so that it's just you know on the fly so that we don't have to I know there are sometimes during the October first that there was a a, a little bit of lag. So thank you to, to and design team. They designed all the um you know the flyers that we put out there, the beautiful designs. I sometimes we get like a couple of comments about how beautiful those designs are. Um I've seen I've seen it a couple of times. So thank you to, to the design team. They helped us in you know this work in uh, social media activity. Um, and yes, I see Precious, I see your comment about the how the spaces help with visibility. I 100% agree that these spaces, they help us a lot because a lot of time during these spaces, we get new followers, we get people that discover the account. So yes, I agree. And yes, while I think of more ideas and more spaces that will educate people in open source. So yes, um, any more comments, reactions, feedback? Hi, John. How are you doing? Do you want to say hi? Hi, Brownie. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's the first time Brownie joined our meeting, but no problem. Um, okay. Um, okay, so is there any more comments on the social media stuff or any feedback? Okay, no feedback, um, or no comments. So, yeah, so if anybody wants to actually volunteer. For like the social media, cause like yeah, LG is the one doing the work currently, and I'm definitely sure she needs help. So if anyone wants to volunteer, please you can reach out to LG, help create content. You know, maybe design ideas. Yeah, a lot of things we can do. So please reach out to LG if you want to. You know, help out and increase our impact in the month of November. So yeah, um, the next topic is, so I wanted to point us to this uh, just as we, the year is almost ending and we are gearing up for like 2024. Um, some time ago, um, I kind of worked on this and, and a couple of people here did help me with it to work on this. So um, I'm just bringing it back up here just to let you all know that we have like these goals and we have like a roadmap. And like if anything, you know, going through this, anything that you think that, you know, would benefit or you think can be a program or you have like a very good idea, because like sometimes, you know, I would love to hear them, um, things we can do in the next year. Um you know, just going through this and just, you know, all partnerships we can make, people that I think can give us money, you know, because a lot of some of the things we want to do here, we do need money to actualize them. So I just put this there just to put it in the 
eyes of people that there's a goal that we have, like goals and objectives that we want to do, you know, for the community. And if there's anything that aligns with you, sorry, you can just um, you know, reach out to me or like, you know, just talk about it and we can plan towards that. So yeah, any reactions about this or any comments? I know I've shared this before. I think I have. Um, but I'm just bringing it back up again. I think we should have this in that we have this um GitHub repo, so we should definitely have this there as so well. Maybe I'll create an issue later. Oh, um, hi Cindy. Yes, we don't have a newsletter, but I probably think that's something we can get towards having. We don't have a newsletter currently, but. Yes, you can, and it will be to work with Oluchi on that, I guess. Um. So, yes, you can volunteer as a newsletter writer. You can, you know, have a newsletter. Because we have a lot of people, like especially from our external audience. Mm. Are you asking for the link to the the goals? How are you asking for? Okay, Cindy, you can reach out to Oluchi. Uh, that's the link um, to the so that's what you're asking for. Um, okay, is there any reaction, any comments about these goals? There are lots, though, but I think it's something we can do gradually. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, I started putting, and this was an idea. The next topic. This was an idea that Matt gave to me. I started putting together a picture album of like all the in-person events, all the meetings that we have. So let me share a link to it. Let me show you. So yeah, I'm still updating it. It's just I just that I did so this is the picture album so if you participate in anything chaos related you can always um you know add it to the album I think the way to add collaborators not sure but I started doing a picture album so when it's done I'll share it here I just had like these are like some of the pictures in um in Lome so I'm going to share but I just want to let you know that I started a picture album. I think. So we put all the beautiful pictures that we take and record the memories of our lives. Okay. So that's the link. So if anybody wants to look at it, I'll figure out how to add collaborators to that. Should be a way. Um, any questions? Any feedback? Okay. So, uh, in the in the month of December, I wanted to also mention this. In the month of December, I think from the is there? I don't know if any of our meetings will fall on the first week. Um, but in the month of December, we usually do not have meetings in December, so there will be no meetings. But I'm thinking of. And this would be in Lagos having a meetup where we, you know, um, meet and just, you know, games, eat, drink. So I'm thinking of this. Is I know people in Lagos will definitely say yes. So um, I'm thinking of planning this, but I don't know when yet. But it should be in December, definitely. Hard one in Port Harcourt, Vasquez. It's only fair we have more. Yeah, right. I, <laughs> I, 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 Kinsley, I very you were there in December. Which one? Which one did, uh, you, did you have in Port Harcourt? Ah, uh, it was last year. Remember, we had oh, one. Last year. Yes, Kinsley was there, and this year is in Lagos. So the one in Lagos. <laughs> I know your ways. But yes, yeah, so um. We need people in Lagos though who like I need like maybe three 
people that would love to plan this with me. Um, I need three people that would love to like, let's start planning this. I'm thinking of the day, dates or dates. It might be a Friday, it should be a Friday. Um, but we'll, we'll discuss more, but um, just going to be basic games, few games, so keep pressures is available to plan. Um who else wants to help plan? Mm, should be in Lagos. Liga. Yay. Um okay. Liga pressures. Kingsley don't want to plan. Okay. So <laughs> so you add me to the list. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Um, so we can just you know work on planning the whole meetup. It's going to be fun, don't worry. I know, really got to be, but now to I know how to organize fun things. But yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. So um, we'll communicate the dates and everything by next meeting. But we should plan towards this, and you know, um, it's been a very good year, so we should end it very well. So yes, that's all. Um, and if you have any, even though you're not planning, if you have any ideas, location ideas, um, um, ideas that we can do, you know, we can, we have any games that you can bring along, all those kind of things. So I have a location in mind already is in Yaba, mainland. Well, we will, yeah, we'll definitely give you pictures. And if like. Like um, next year, if you want it to be in your city, bring more people to chaos. <laughs> we will we will think about hosting it in like Hamza now. Bring all all us can members to chaos. We we'll, we'll host it in Canva and I'll come for it. So so yes, but plan this better. Next as time keeps going on, we'll plan it and then we'll come back to this team because like in December there are not going to be any meetings so like the rest month till the next year. Yep. So that's any more questions? I think we have 10 more minutes back. Thank you everyone for a lovely meeting. See um yeah orion you have a question not like a question but like you're not in for like first timers and chaos meeting <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a really really tricky one you're not in for first timers did you contribute to october first i let's start from there no i i did not i was very busy you were not even a supporter mm. <laughs> i was very busy very busy i was i was i was barely on the slack channels Oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm in a good mood today, so you can, can send a message. Okay. And, and yeah, we should have something for... I'm for not a in church. As you, said, <laughs> as you said, we should have something for first time. It's a good idea. I I, I agree. <laughs> I'm yeah. first time. Do I get something to... <laughs> no, yeah. First time, please. Or if you just said it's the first time I'm attending the meeting, am I not a first timer? You are not because I think said so. If from you, you I'll collect my gifts. I don't even know what you're saying. Okay. And what about old time first timers? <laughs> I see, I see, I see your game. I see your game, Chidago. I see it. I know it. You're familiar with it. Yes, we are familiar with it. But yes, yeah, uh, thank you everyone for joining. And um, let me stop. Where did you stop this recording? Oh my god. <laughs>